Welcome back to a series that I haven't uploaded to for a very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you End Survival. I never really gave this series a proper send-off, so I thought that it was about time to do so. But before we continue with today's tasks, such as going through what we have done, and also something very special that I'm not saying at the moment, I want to answer a question I think people will be asking a lot, and then a small announcement, and then a big thanks. Question being, will there be a season 2? And that is a very good question, and the answer is... Maybe. I really enjoyed this series, and maybe in the future I'll be able to put something together. So, maybe. Because, yeah, like I said, I really have enjoyed this series. Now, for the announcement, this is the final update that the mod pack will be receiving from my end. We're now in Minecraft 1.19.2, and this mod pack is available for download over on ModRinth. This mod pack is also open source on Codeberg, so if anyone wishes to keep things updated, they can submit their request there. And the big thanks that I was talking about goes to the creators of this Better End mod. This series wouldn't have been possible without them, and they have done an amazing job. They also make a ton of other cool mods, so be sure to check them out. I will have left links down below in the description. Also a shout out to, I'm hoping I'm saying this right, but H. Phillips N. Cities data pack. It has really changed how the end CDs look and it has been really refreshing and really fitting with the better end mod. So there's a link to that on the mod pack page as well if you wish to play this with that data pack. But now with all that out of the way, I want to take a look at some of the things that we have made in this series and then we should complete our mission. Our task at hand, something that we never really finished in the series, which is to defeat the Ender Dragon and free this dimension from its grasp. So, where do we start? We have a home away from home, our very first home all the way over here, which we will be going past. But I guess let's start at the farms because I this is something that I'm really, really happy with, uh, very happy about right here. The sulfur farm, which allows us to be able to make things like gunpowder using sulfur right here. And this is really cool and has been a huge game changer us having this, uh, I don't recall, yes, I think when they're st sticking out of the water like that, yep, they are ready to be harvested. I guess let's do one final harvest for good old time's sake. And these brimstones, they're, they're just generating the sulfur, so it's pretty much all I have to do is harvest and then let them grow back the crystals. And this process right here, getting... <laughs> this process right here, getting the sulfur, getting the gunpowder for rockets, has been really, really important because, well, we're in the end, there are a ton of islands and it's very difficult to, to navigate, if you couldn't imagine that. Um, so yeah, getting this stuff right here has been really important. In fact, the end lily leaf has been important as well to get them dried, which can then give us paper. And so that has been really beneficial as well. And then we made this farm as well for the end lotus, which I don't remember why, actually. We have the end lotus seed right here. I don't remember if I need to use any specific tool, but I'm getting then loads of seeds and, oh yeah, the stems. I wanted the stems because I thought they look really, really cool. So yeah, that, that's why we made that farm. Originally, we had to farm so over there, but if we just go ahead and fly over, yeah, this is our old path right here, and I forgot about this place. We ended up making a path down, expanding the farm area for these loom corn right here, which I don't remember what are for either. But I have the loom corn seed, and I would have thought that I would get something from this. Maybe if I chop it down from here. Yes, there we go. Perfect. We got these loom corn rods, which can be used for making some chandeliers, which is really cool. They look very, very pretty and beautiful. Same over here. We got the glowing pillar uh, leaves for the glowing pillar luminophore. Yes, that, that's a name. Also, these land sleeves. We also got these, the cave pumpkins, which we never really got to use. So, oh, well, there we go. Cave pumpkin, which we can make into a cave pumpkin pie. Though I don't think we can get... Oh, we can get sugar. I just don't know how. <laughs> I just don't know how, but there we go. We have quite a few farms here. I originally also had a plan to have a bridge go all the way over to... Let's fly over to this area right here 
to have a tree farm. However, we never really got there. And then, of course, this right here is our home, which this is our, tr well, I guess kind of trophies. This, no, we have not slain in the dragon before. However, we did find the head on one of those end ships. Spare elytra, but of course, now we have the chrysolite elytra, which is really, really awesome. This is our uh, rocket crafting station. We have... Oh wow, a lot of endly leaves. You know what? Let's go ahead and put some of these to smelting. Uh, if I have, can I? Oh yeah, we have the end stone smelter as well. Let's let's split them up. Let's do this. I do have charcoal indeed. Yeah, we didn't have coal in the series, so <laughs> getting this has been. Uh, it must be unlocked. Hmm. Maybe I was, I might have been doing something, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is our the storage right here, wood stuff, tools. We found a lot of tools from end cities, especially weapons, weapons and armor right here. Look at all this stuff. But in the end, we managed to, let me just get rid of all this stuff. In the end, we managed to make this awesome chrysolite armor, which is really, really cool. Speaking of which, I almost forgot, actually, I made a custom recipe data pack for this specific mod pack that when you install this mod pack, it comes along. And some of the recipes are changed. For example, to, for us to be able to enchant things, I made a recipe for lapis lazuli. Uh, this right here, I believe, is my recipe. Um, one of my custom recipes and yeah, that's just really cool to have. It just makes the series a little bit more playable and speaking of which, this is our infused bed area which we spent quite a lot of time in in the last couple of episodes. And as I was eating, I just remembered over here we have the shadow berries or the shadow berry farm which this was crucial because we, we didn't really have food. Fo food was a very sparse thing here until we came across these and was able to get silk touch to get shadow grass, which then allows, allowed us to make this awesome shadow seed farm, which just gives us a ton of shadow berries. I mean, look at all this. I've only harvested half of it, barely half of it actually. And I have stacks upon stacks of both the seeds and also the berries. Yeah, this farm was a game changer. Yep, that's quite a lot of food and also seeds. And now I have to go ahead and replant everything. I will be back in about an hour or so, right? I see they've changed so that the the seed pattern is a little bit off. And normally I would love that feature, but for this, it makes it very hard to tell where you have placed the seeds. <laughs> I remember it as being centered, but I think with this, I might be missing a few spots here and there. It's a bit difficult to tell, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and there we go, replanted, good enough anyway. And now this is the second key thing about this farm. Not only did we get a bunch of food, which we can then cook and they have a pretty very good food source actually. Uh, yep, we have a lot of cooked shadow berries, but we can go ahead and just compost it all. And that way get a ton more bone meal, which in turn can give us a lot more gunpowder, which in turn gives us, of course, a lot more, well, you guessed it, rockets. And with these end lily leaves dried, we should be able to make quite a bit amount of paper. And then with said paper, it can go ahead and just boom. A stack and a half-ish rockets. Those are going to become very useful later today. Speaking of which, actually, before we do that, I want to see this place using shaders because I remember it being quite spectacular. This is complementary reimagined and it really does give this place a glow. <laughs> I absolutely love how this looks. Like, look at the rays there. Look at the light shining between, like, oh, I love this. I absolutely love this. Right, might be tempted to continue playing with this, actually, but as that composting thing continues, there is stuff that we never actually got around to making, such as this right here, the Eternium helmet or the Eternium armor, the armor the lights are using Eternium as well. Also, Eternium weapons, we never really got around to that, um, but I am pretty happy with our Crystalline Armor. It has very good enchantments and everything. We also do have a Terminite Pickaxe. We do have a Diamond Sword, but that's just because, I mean, look at this thing. It is absolutely, it, it's great. It, it is perfect. We don't really need anything else. 
don't know why I have my diamond chest plate in my inventory, but we're just gonna uh, maybe put. Actually, let's put this there, and there we go. Of course, the respawn obelisk was crucial because if we were here and died, we would spawn all the way back here, which is not ideal. So. Yeah, we set our spawn point here, so that is all good. I guess it's good if we fail our, our to, today's task. Final thing before we leave. This right here, the ender chest. Look at all these joker boxes. We got fortune and soak touch pickaxes in here for when we need it. And ooh, and even more. Okay. We have more flight rockets. We have ender chests on us. I think we are good to go. This place has been really, really good. It's been lovely. But now we have a very important mission on our hands, and that is to free the end dimension from the grasp of the Ember Dragon. We have mending and unbreaking on our crystalline lines for a very, very good. So without any further ado, I guess let's go. It is in this general area, and we can spend some time looking at this awesome scenery. I mean, look at this place. I just need to make sure that I'm actually going. I want to go towards some of the places that we actually went to uh, and build stuff because there are a few buildings on the way here that I would really love to visit. In fact, this end tower post I think is one of them. I'm not 100%. Nope, never mind. That's one of these. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what I mean. The end city data pack right there. That's an end city. You cannot recognize that. It is amazing. Highly recommend. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's one of my bridges. <laughs> That is a way to definitely be able to tell that I have been here. Right, what is this? Eternal portal. Oh, yeah. Better End did give us some of these. Right here. Reminds me of the series Stargate. Uh, this is apparently a gateway that could lead us back to the overworld. I am still not... I still don't know how this works. We have different runes and we have uh, pedestals right here. Which, of course, can hold items. Uh... Don't know how you actually activate this, but maybe again, if we ever do a season two, doing more with this stuff would be really, really cool. We have another eternal portal there and another eternal portal and my home should be, I'm pretty sure, right there. So let's go and visit our very first base. Oh, I remember these clusters as well, these big ones right here. And I'm pretty sure that our base, our first base, it's going to be right around here, somewhere. Oh yeah, it repopulates. I don't know what is wrong with the with the world map. It doesn't really work that well anymore in this update. Um, I guess because things have switched places or something. So I might have to do a little bit of search to find our old home. I recall actually... Oh, look at the light shining through this stuff. I recall actually making this GM. I okay, those are just rooms. Wait, that is that is that is man-made structures ahead. Yep, this was our old home right here. Really, really lovely. And look at that, we still have a furnace in here and an anvil. I left an anvil behind. Wow. But yeah, this is where it all started. Right here in this hut. And I suppose if you do want to rewatch the entire series, or maybe you're new and haven't watched the series, I will leave a link to the playlist down below in the description. And if you go to the uh, description and some of the things are missing, shout at me in the comments because then I will have forgotten. I've already mentioned like five links to insert and... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there is another place though. There is another place, another outpost somewhere, which was, yes, right there. I want to go there before we go. And defeat the Ender Dragon because that is our second structure that we actually built and actually the first the furthest that we actually got to explore while on foot. I mean I've gone many places on foot but that place right there was one of the first journeys I think that we made and that was to go uh, well it's already gone but that is right there. This outpost right here was going to be our Enderman farm and it did work. It did actually work. Endermen would spawn out here. I could look at them and then, well, they would swarm, swarm over here and they couldn't do much about it. However, right now, we don't actually have that many. But we do have these chorus flowers. I mean, look at that. That looks cool. But right. We are going to this place right here, to the edge of the world, before 
the end island appeared. So that means I need to go roughly in this direction. Here we go. Final flight journey before there's no going back. And here we are. This is the edge of the world before entering the vast void. And then the end island. Goodbye, lovely world. It has been great knowing you. Oh wow, look at those steam. Yeah, th that biome is really, really cool as well. But right, there's no time to waste. Every second wasted is a second where the dragon still has its grasp on this journey or on this world. And we need to free it. Here we go. Look at that. Amb uh, listen to that ambience. We have lift off, And it's very, very not cool <laughs> flying over the void like this. I don't know when. Uh, okay, I guess I'm almost halfway there. But here we go. Danger ahead. Uh, I don't know how far down towards the void I am. This is very, very scary. All I can do is just keep flying and hope for the best. I assume I'll be able to see the island very, very, very soon. Look at the lights changing. We've got a few islands there. And there it is. Oh, wow. Here we are. Now, one issue I do not... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any bow or arrows. There it is. Look at it. Doesn't know what is about to hit it. In fact, I'm not sure what's about to hit it because I am going to grab my water bucket and do this. There we go. One tower down. I need to do this manually for every single tower. This is going to be quite the job and also very, very dangerous. I'm going to place the water, hoping that that's going to keep me safe. Don't know. I don't have projectile protection on me, so this. Uh, sorry, blast protection. So this could be very, very bad. But this seems to be going. Oh, it's shooting at me. Let's teleport over using an ender pearl, and let us get this next. Actually, I don't want to stand right there next to it. Let's. Yeah, there we go. I think the water is helping quite a bit, but that is most of the towers. This one is going to be protected behind. Ah. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> All right then, I'll go to the next one. If you win, so insist. However, your fate is inevitable. All right, let's get this one, which is also protected by some sort of bars, but it cannot stop us. There we go. Destroyed. Oh, I am anchored an enderman. That's not ideal. Go down. Go down. Don't have time for you. I'm trying to free your dimension. You should be happy. Right, place this here. Got that. We're missing just, I think, three crystals now. Another one down. Teleport over. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Ooh, okay, that could have gone very bad. Need to remember I have wings. <laughs> place this. Boom. And now we're missing just this one tower. It's trying to protect it with everything that it has, but before it can shoot me with that, I'm gone. Hoo-wee! Right. This is going to be a fight because I, again, don't have a bow, so I need to be attacking this thing with my sword, which is currently not going well. I, I can't hit this thing. I can't... Whoa! I can't hit it. There's no center, so I don't know if it's going to perch. Oh, got it. Right by the head. Okay, this armor is taking a beating, but I need to get it right... Okay. Right by the head. There we go. Got another punch in. Really happy that I have this sword with us. Sharpness 5. It's going to make this job a whole lot easier and quicker. Come on. Ah. Oh! It's perching, it's perching, it's perching somewhere. Don't know where it's perching to, but I'm defi oh, definitely going to utilize this. Take advantage of this situation. There it is. Can I get in close? I can indeed. Can I take the beating, though, in this part particle shower? Time to fly. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. That was close. But we did a lot of damage there. Come at me, dragon. Aerial combat. Come on. Really happy that I made all these fireworks because uh, they are going to be needed. It's perching again. It's perching again. There we go. 
quite low, quite low, but I can take it. I can take it. Fly. Whew. Even with this... Oh, gotta stop doing that. Even with this awesome crystal light armor, I am taking quite the beating doing this. Ah, there we go. Got it on a pass. Look at the army of endermen it has attracted. It's purging again. It's purging again. Throwing me away. I have an angry enderman at me. I need to get rid of him because... They're gonna be an issue. Actually, ah, uh, uh, look, look what you made me do. I'm supposed to fight it, not me. Where are you? Okay, think I'm good. Think I'm in the clear. It's purging. It's purging. It's purging. Hopefully, I don't have an army of endermen following me this time. Nope. I think I'm good. This is going to be a battle. There we go. Come on. Can't hit it. Not doing damage. Not doing damage. There we go. Gotta fly. Gotta fly. Okay, really did not want me getting close that time. Elytra is getting a little bit critical here. I might need to just stand on one of the towers for a second. And wait for her to purge again. Come on, you thing. You want to purge. You know you want to. Gotta try and not look at the Enderman down below. Because otherwise I will be in trouble. It's purging. It's purging. Deploying Elytra. Getting the XP for my Elytra. Nope, go away. Go away. I have an important task ahead of me. Can't hit it. There we go. Come on. Come. Oh, 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 oh. Whew. That was a close one. <laughs> that was a very close one. Those Endermen are not fooling around. It's still perching, though. It's still perching. There we go. Can I? Oh, I just need one more hit. Here we go. Perching again. This is going to be the final strike. I'm going to have to look down a bit here. Wait for it to purge. And this is going to be the final blow. Oh, if it will allow me to get close enough. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The mission is accomplished. Dragon is no more. Look at all that XP. Oh, wow. That's the dragon egg. Look at this. 50, 60 levels. Wow, I should have made some proper fireworks with some dye or something for this celebration, but here we go. Um, dragon egg. Right. Uh, I suppose. Doing it like this. There we go. Goal reached the next generation. I wonder, is the portal going to be down below here? Aha! <laughs> the portal is down below. This means... But we could leave if we wanted to. We could leave this dimension if we wanted to. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gained our freedom, a pass, a portal, a gateway to the overworld. And I think to send this series probably off, we should probably do that. We're leaving this place behind, everything behind. It's been good though. So again, I really hope you have enjoyed this series. I certainly have. Again, that's some ambience. Again, maybe there will be a season two, who knows. But for now, I hope you have enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one, whatever that may be. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.